20-year-old Corvus Humphreys, who died after he was shot near the CTA's pink line last Sunday. The shooting happened in the 2000 block of South California in the city's Little Village neighborhood. Eyewitness News reporter Karen Jordan talked with the victim's family. Karen? Well, Rob, investigators are looking for two men believed to be responsible for the shooting. In the meantime, the father of Corvus Humphreys is devastated and is planning his funeral. He just generated a light that would light up the room, whatever he'd step in the room. Walter Humphreys is talking about his youngest son, Corvus Humphreys. The 20-year-old was one of two people shot Sunday morning near the CTA Pink Line station on California Avenue in Little Village. Humphreys was shot in the neck, but managed to run across the street to the train station for help. His last steps, he said, call 911. When he's holding his neck, he's bleeding out and he collapsed. Humphreys died. The other shooting victim was taken to a hospital and is recovering from his injuries. Walter Humphreys says his son had just been dropped off at the pink line to head home after finishing his overnight shift at a manufacturing plant when the shooting happened and he was caught in the crossfire. It's an emptiness, it's a void in everyone, especially his parents and his siblings. Corvus Humphreys was one of seven siblings. He had many interests and excelled as a graphic artist and musician. Recording songs and shooting videos as hip-hop artist Chrono. Now his father is not only grieving the loss of his son, but also the fact that the dreams his son had will never be realized. And he makes a plea that has been heard all too often. This senseless, mindless violence just has to stop. It's taking life after life that of people who have nothing to do with what's going on. Humphrey says his son was planning to quit his job in a few weeks and go to Atlanta with his older brother to get involved in the film industry there. And now he's asking anyone with information about what happened to contact police. And how another family is grieving. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks, Karen.